So the first step, of course, is just working with your position. And more and more, how you start off with this position is important. So the combination is straightness, however you interpret that, and relaxation. And the two actually go together in the sense that um, we don't want straightness without relaxation. We don't want something that has any quality of rigidity. On the other hand, uh, you might say that if you're into straightness, you can afford to relax. You're not going to uh, disorder your body in any way. And the, the special way that we're uh, concerned about is leaving yourself a, a free uh, movement of your diaphragm and your other breathing uh, muscles and tendons and so on. So you want nothing that impedes your the free movement of what you use to breathe. Now the other point is that straightness has some quality in our lives about honesty and directness and so on. So you might say that if you are going to be straight, you might as well be relaxed. <coughs> because uh, you know, there's a lot to relate to. Um, sometimes if you're saying something authentically and honestly, you have to encounter whatever the reaction is. So relaxation is a way of supporting straight. And of course, doing something with your vision, either stabilizing your vision by looking downwards or closing your eyes. So basically, the parts of your brain that use vision are switching. And pretty much they switch to accentuating your experience of feeling, especially feeling your breathing sensations. So at this point we've already simplified our world, so to speak. As much as possible we're just focused on feeling, especially on feeling breathing sensations. As you feel breathing in, you feel breathing out, you of course notice a difference. And one of the differences is that when you're breathing out, you stimulate a nerve that <coughs> mechanically induces relaxation in the rest of your body. So we emphasize the exhaling breath. And we emphasize relaxation. And in emphasizing relaxation, we're essentially emphasizing it as a way of helping you leave tension. Taking the position that you don't need all of this tension in your body. And indeed, the more we let go of this tension, to some degree, freer we become. Attention is not just residual impact, it actually restrains our use of our body. We believe that 
were all carrying around just too much energy. And some of that excess energy is contained in muscle tension that you can let go. So as you breathe out, you're letting go of air. And as you let go of air, you're also letting go of muscle tension. that letting go process has a very specific quality. Instead of feeling your body as divided into very specific components, like your feet, your ankles, your knees, your arms, your back, when you let go and you can release energy, you begin to feel that your body is not so much divided. In fact, it's more united. And you can feel energy flow throughout your body. sweeping motion. It allows you to feel your whole body and to feel this kind of united effect. Perspective of mindfulness, this united effect is not an illusion, it's actually the reality that we don't allow ourselves to usually feel. There's an image of letting go. It's a simple image. You're holding a ball in your hand. And you released your fingers' grip on the ball. The ball would just simply fall to the ground. all of the grips that we might have. If all of those grips are historical. They all have to do with some situation where we felt we had to apply pressure or get tense. And the perspective that is central in mindfulness need any of those grips. You can let go and let that tension out of your body. And when you do let go, your body and your mind Of course, your thinking process might take another view of all of this. I usually think critically. Think in 
such a way that we could accept or reject, see the fallacy of some situation or even some proposal that someone is saying is logical. So we don't close off any of that to thinking. That is intelligence. So instead of stopping a thought or even avoiding a thought, in mindfulness we respect each and every thought and include it without exception. But the difference is rather than continue with another thought, move our attention back to the breathing sensations. Sometimes it is important to examine logic. Our tendency when we think is to either go back into the past or to go forward into an imagined future. We don't really know how to think in the present moment. That's an exceptional situation. Instead of complicating our lives with the usual past and future fixations, when we're aware of thinking, we move attention back to the breathing sensations which bring our attention into the present moment. Sensor any thought. Mindfulness is a very quiet and gradual way of developing more courage. And that courage is initially a willingness to relate to any thought that arises in your mind. same time, if you're relating to your thought process with respect, you also put your thought process into perspective by moving your attention from thought to the breathing. This way, our minds being centered in the present moment becomes the foundation of our experience.
does another very important thing, which is it helps us consolidate and bring together our resources. that we can relate to life moment by moment. an important element of discovery in mindfulness. Of your having an autonomous experience. It doesn't necessarily have to fit with anybody else's experience or any other experience you've had before. It's a discovery. First time Experience. And one of the discoveries we encourage you to make is to find your own natural pace and natural depth. time we're not really paying much attention or respect to our natural rhythm. Most times we're trying to go faster. case we don't have to go any particular speed, only that rhythm, which is natural for you. You can become more comfortable in your skin. Part of that is just allowing your natural rhythm to guide you. Sometimes we just don't allow ourselves an element of surprise in our lives. We're trying to pre-plan everything. But by definition, being in the present moment uh, helps you see each moment as novel. Each 
moment can offer some kind of surprise. situations sometimes that make you feel small or ill at ease and you want to counter those experiences by letting you peacefully expand right where you are. to radiate energy out. Allow yourself to lighten up. Do not feel like your body is so dense. In fact, it's a vehicle for energy especially for energy to flow from outwards. And as you open to letting go of energy, that opening begins to work both ways begins to have you become more open to the environment and the experiences.
these last few minutes, I want you to try not to try. To just allow yourself to almost purely discover one moment to the next. natural to follow your breathing sensations. And it's natural to allow whatever thought that arises to just happen. And sooner or later you return your attention to your breathing sensations. Okay, just let yourself move, stretch. 